Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to learn about uh, one important uh, method that is how to import excel points into creo to get exact curve. That is uh, it will be useful uh, in the case of uh, uh, building turbo machines, design aero files or plane structures or any curved surface with help of calculated points sometimes we will be having the coordinates of the points we wanted the same points to be uh, drawn in the model so that we can extract the exact blade shape and from the drawn curve we need to build the model so let us start the video so let me take uh, let me create one model I'm gonna use the same template. I need planes. So yeah, uh, before doing this, so let us uh, check the points. So here, for example, I have taken Naka points. Yes, as you can see, uh, zero 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 will be the center point, and one zero zero will be the last. Point. Normally, it will be uh, drawn uh, in between 0 to 1. So, if you are taking in inches, mm's, that will be uh, on your side. So, you can scale the sketch later if you want to, as per the requirements. Initially, I extracted these points. Uh, when I extracted, I got only x values and y values. Z values was not being extracted from the uh, standard uh, output. So I took uh, S000. We need uh, compulsorily three points to draw curves. This is what the blades look like. So I want to extract this type of blades which will be over the hub. Normally in impellers uh, you might have been seen this type of blade for the turbine. And uh, this is a side view. Uh, this is the curve we want to extract now. So for that I want to save this with respect to text format. Here, this one text tab with eliminated. Save it. And here, you need to change the format because Creo reads only pts format so i changed the txt format into pts format by changing the extensions here what you need to do take sketch take the plane i'm going to take orientation at the top so this is all i got initially you need a coordinate system because as per this coordinate system it will draw the curves so i took the coordinate system and placed it at the center uh, you want to draw some random spline points you don't need to worry about it will be changed automatically but make sure you do not give this type of constraints relation constraints otherwise later you may get problem so this should be the closed curve because the curves i'm gonna draw is a closed one so now you go to select double click on the curve so go to file you need to define the coordinate system which was drawn here and open go to the place where you have saved the points here it is click on import so it will ask whether uh, these points which I am uh, importing are different than what I have drawn already so you need to give yes press ok refit 
because it will be smaller you can actually redefine this sketch if you want to here I need uh, five times of this so this one I'm gonna put it at the starting so that the next dimensions will be scaled to five times refit so this is how the curves look like so the curves are ready you can use it as per you like if you have hub then you can project these curves onto that or you can just extract this use the extrude so that you can use it later so the blade is ready as per the calculated points actually I'm gonna show you another example of the same type let me close this one here is not displayed let me create one more part so same type we are going to draw curves for scroll expander this is little bit different because here uh, I did not extract curves actually calculated it using the formula so as per the angle I got these points so I want these points to be drawn there so cannot make it save as instead I can do can use another method I will copy these points into notepad Okay, so here a little bit correction. And save it as PTS format. PTS. Let me minimize it. Go to Creo. Again, I'm going to sketch this one. I don't need planes further, so I'm taking it off. Same method. I took coordinate system. Same spines, but the difference is this time I'm not going to connect the start and end because. I want to draw this and make sure you do not give any relation constraints. Select, edit, define coordinate system. is for the blades of scroll expander motors further you can add thickness if you want to and you get the curves as per these calculated points Have you all understood this is a rare case and uh, rare people will be knowing these options how to extract the curves by the calculated points from the excel don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you